we're going to take a look at the process of turning an edentulous ridge into an STL model that could be used to reduce the bone or to create a surgical guide. As you can see, we've imported an edentulous case. By going to isolate and left clicking on the item that we want to keep, we eliminate everything else. Now, if the bone is solid and dense, then we could simply click on the CT surface and click create model. The software will then create an STL file. The problem in a case like this, if we tried to create a surgical guide based on this, or if we tried to reduce it, we'd run into problems because of all the holes and issues with the bone. So we're going to delete this surface and go to the segmentation panel and it used advanced jaw segmentation. Now this process does take a few minutes but prior to the creation of this wizard in the software doing something like this could only be done by a CAD CAM specialist using special software and it was much more complicated. We're going to take a look at the process in Blue Sky Plan. We start off by indicating the jaw in the panoramic, holding down the shift key on the keyboard, left dragging to click a window to create and draw a window around the relevant bone. We then go ahead and press on next. The software is going to take us through def several different slices where we're going to identify and define where the bone is on different slices and we're going to do that using the tools that we have in the segmentation panel on the right side of the screen. We're going to start with Intelligent Lasso and what we can see that that does is we can lasso the relevant area and only the bone over the min minimum density will be selected. So we can go ahead and start going through our slices. Now when we have holes, we want to use the fill holes button to fill that in so that, we're end, that we end off with a solid model. Now the area on the screen that looks a bit brighter is the area that we defined by drawing the rectangle in the first step. Now here, this isn't completely closed off, which is why the fill holes tool didn't fill it in. So we're going to go to brush and fill that, Create, click fill holes, and it's completed. Now each time where I'm drawing, either with the brush or the intelligent lasso, I'm holding down the shift key and using my left mouse button. Okay, here again I'm going to use the brush to close off certain areas. And it takes a few minutes, we're going through the different steps and stages. And there's no problem using the lasso tool separately in different parts of the bone. That's all fine as well. We could use the eraser tool if we want to erase part of what we colored. And 
and we just continue going through the different screens. Okay, now we're looking at cross-section slices. The pink lines that we see on the screen indicate areas that we've already defined using the tools during this process. Okay, now the software is creating the new surface based on the definitions that we just did. We can now see in the bottom left in the 3D view what's being created. We have the option now to create a surface which will create a new STL surface in the software. We have the option remove from the 3D view if we wanted to cut it out of the CT scan that's displayed in the 3D view and clear segmentation data if we wanted to do the process again. We could press create surface. Now when we go to the surfaces list we could see our mandible turned into an STL surface. Now this can be used to create a surgical guide.